So collision detection can be used to determine when two objects touch. And we can also use it to make those objects bounce. And now the question comes that how we can implement it. So to implement collision detection, we will use Pythagorean theorem. So let's start. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we will see how to code circular collision detection. So for this, we will use Pythagorean or Pythagoras theorem. And it's a square plus b square equals to c means the distance. And we will get it. So let's see how to code it. So I have here three files and one is HTML dot one is index.html canvas.js and style.css. So what I will just do is come over here. Right over here I have this boilerplate. So what I will just do is give this link boilerplate link in the description. And what you can just do is go here to canvas.js, open all of these files. And what you will just do is copy this all code. So it's just the basic starting code. Means the basic code that you need to be start to get it. So it's like this is the getting started code that we will need. So it's just basic code. Okay, something like that. Now I'll just close all of this. So this is our index.html that we have. So let's save all of these. So we can use our style code right over here. And what I will just do is go here to canvas. I will say canvas. Or I will say here body and I will say here background color equals to as let's say uh, I want a bit grayish color. So, so here let's select this color. Let's select this color. Let's see. Okay. So now let's go over here and let's check it out. Right. So we have a background color from the CSS, which is this background color. And what I will just do is draw some circles. So for drawing circles, I will create here a basic function. And here I have one more function for generating a random integer task for starting and ending. I will say function and I will call it circle with capital C. And the arguments will be x, y and then the radius and then the color. And if I come inside this, I will just define those this variables. This dot y equals y. This dot radius equals to radius. And then this dot the color. Color equals to the color that we have. Right. And right over here, so you know the basic color drawing code. So what I will just do is say here begin path. I'll say here C dot begin path. Just call it and then right over here I will say C dot arc and here I will say let's keep the color as something like reddish color. So let's go let's say here arc. Here we'll specify the this dot x and then this dot y and then this dot radius and start angle at 0 and angle as math dot pi multiplied by 2 for and full circle angle and I will say it, it false so that doesn't matter right now but for the false condition I will say you fill c dot fill style here I will say as color and then here here what I will just do just over here I will say c dot fill and I will say here c dot end okay actually that was close path right 
So this is a new method that I just seen because it's a good practice having it. And now if we refresh, we get nothing. And that's because we are not calling this function. And one more thing, I will transfer this into this dot draw, and this will be as a function. And inside this function, I will add this. okay and i will create one more function i will call it this dot update update or let's create just draw and what i will just do is come over here i will say here i will just create here an variable and i will call it circle one and let's define it and i'll create in variable called circle two and I will create here a function and I will name it in it. So I, I will just define here an initializing method. Something like that. And right. And I will just call it right over here in it. Right. And in this function, what I will just do is say here we we I will say here circle one is equals to so i will say here equals to new circle and inside this the x will be the inner width that we have of the window divided by two so it will give us the center and inner width divide inner height divided by two inner height divided by two that will give us the y and radius let's keep it at 150 and color as let's say Let's try blue and let's refresh it. So I got nothing that's because I will call here circle one dot draw. Now it should be there. Right. So the color is not that much nice. So I will what I will just do is see here search you for color picker. So I will just pick here color and right over here. I will pick a bit light blue color something like that and I will just take the hex color of it paste it and I will take one more color a bit reddish some okay that's all perfect and let's see here so here we have a perfect blue color as I wanted and let's keep the background as complete black black only so let's try something so let's see here something so I will see here something like let's set it as ghost white so it will be proper white color let's keep it at white only and let's copy the color code of the this okay and I will say here, I will just say similarly, I will copy this, paste it. Here I will say circle 2 and the x will be the mouse dot x which we have. Means the mouse x axis. And then I will specify the mouse dot y axis. And by default, I will change it to 10 by 10. So it will be at the top. And the color code will be this and the radius will be 30 right and i will see here circle to dot draw right let's see so here we have a nice looking circle and i will create here one more method which is the animate method animate so here I will say request animation frame I will specify the callback as animate and here I will say circle circle two dot x is equals to so I'll just add this over 
here and I'll say circle two dot x equals to the let's mouse dot x and then circle two dot y equals to the mouse dot y. Okay. So let's check it out. So we get nothing because we need to call the animate function also. So now let's refresh. So now you can see we have something like this. But you can see that it's creating copies of the circle. So just call here c dot clear rect function. You want it from zero to zero and width will be the inner width. So inner width and height done. So now it should be perfectly fine. Okay. So here we have a circle following our mouse, something like this. And now let's go to the main part of colliding. So to do that, as I tell you, we will use the Pythagoras theorem using this formula. So what I will just do is just top of here, I will say function and I will just call it uh, get dist distance. Right? And inside this, I will get x1, y1 and x2 and then y2. Here I will say x distance as x2 minus x1 and x and y distance as y2 minus y1. Okay, so next thing what I will just do right over here, I will return. I will return. So I'm going to return the value of math math dot the square root square root of the so inside the square root I will specify the math dot the power of 2 and here I will specify xt by power of 2 and I will say plus math dot power here I will say yd and power of 2 so hopefully this will give us the distance and what I will just do is run here and if condition or let's get here distance I will say distance equals to the get distance function with distance and here we'll specify circle circle 1 dot x and here we'll specify circle 1 dot y then circle 2 dot x and circle 2 dot y so here we have the distance and what i will just do is run here and if condition if the distance that we have is less than greater than the radi the radii we have and this will be the circle 1 dot radius plus the circle 2 dot radius and I will say here radii and if it's true then it I will just console dot log that it just collided I will say here colliding or and else if it's not colliding then what I will just do is console.log that no colli not colliding okay something like this so now let's check it out what we have created to now just open let me just open the inspect panel so it's showing not colliding when I collide it says colliding so when I collide it it says colliding and when I okay so it's saying colliding colliding so you can see that it's properly working and so what I can I will just do is uh, if it's colliding then what you can just do is 
I will just go to the init method and I will say circle 2 equals to the new circle and the color code will be this let's say and the radius will be 150 and this will be this thing so this will be the x and y and after this I will say circle 2 dot draw so what this will do is if I refresh whenever I collide what happens that it just changes the color but here should be circle 1 because it also changes the radius of my circle so now if I refresh we have this little circle when I touch it it turns into red so what so how to change it back to the original color so I will go to the else statement and in this I'll specify this color code okay this color code is written here right so now if I refresh when I collide it changes its colors so now you can see that we have here a proper project so thanks for watching guys